Just in short term, it will start downloading. And you can see it just below. It popped up a uh, download. Since it's downloaded, you just click on that. Proceed with the clicking for yes. Then just continue with then clicking next and install. And finish that with the closing. Just click finish. Then you'll have to open this application. And for me, it's on the desktop. Just make sure that you can find it easily and run it as administrator. Just click yes. Now, for some of you guys, this should work from the first case and some from you, you might have to restore your PC because it also might not work. It can have any bugs, also cannot find the device. So make sure that, that you either relaunch this application or restart your PC. So um, let's get in some comments that you will have to type in. So make sure that your device is clicked on, is, is connected. So, okay. And then go to find your PC. And uh, okay, for example, let's go here or let's go on the here and then search for this PC click for properties and then device manager after clicking that you will have to find modems double click on that and then right click for, for properties and then click for modem section and you will see com port with a com7 Seven, this is the most essential information here. So this is a port with number seven. Once you open the program real term, just make sure that uh, you tick half duplex. The second thing you have to go to port and you already seeing that it's number seven, which is correct number. You don't have to change anything. Just proceed with that to section number send uh, with a send name and here you will have to to put some comments uh, first of all one the first one is uh, this one I will just put that and show you okay this is the first comment that you will have to put and just click send okay Wait a little bit and it might show some errors because it doesn't work so uh, guys if it's not working just try to uh, relaunch your application because you can see that it doesn't show up nothing so just relaunch your application click for once again real term run as administrator Okay, yes, then check the port, it's correct, then click send, then put the command again, also uh, on display half duplex must be ticked, and then click send. And you can see now it's working, so guys, Make sure if it doesn't work, just relaunch your application or restart your PC. It might help. So the first, the first command is put. You have to follow with the second command. And the second command must be put on the same field. Click for uh, Ctrl C on copying and Ctrl V on uh, testing. So this is the numbers and this is the numbers that it will call to the, the following numbers. So just click that part, OK. Also, you can see that the phone is already calling. So just click cancel the call and just click message. You can see that this is the number that we called. So we have to put into message the browser link and it will be just a google.com or 
with the extension of your country. So let's put google.com, then send it. Okay, um, I can click cancel, but anyway, uh, just click for google.com. Okay, guys, so you will have to download ES file browser, by, but you will have to download it with the Samsung Galaxy apps application, which is already should be on the device even though it's hard reset so just click on the samsung.com galaxy apps and then on this uh, website you will have to click on samsung galaxy apps so now you will have to agree to terms and conditions and also you will have to sign in but uh, i will just show you just find es file explorer Click on the download and you will have to make sure that you sign in with a Samsung Google account credentials. You can also create the account or you can do on your PC. So I will do that and get back to you. Okay, now we can see that we are signed in. Okay, now accept and download. Should download. Then you can see that it's installing so it doesn't take a very long time once it's installed just click on the application open and then you will have to add few things here so uh, just get back and click on this just click on the favorite and then add here we'll, we will add few paths so the first one will be uh, downloading Google Bypass account. So um, I will tell you the website is uh, google.google. Uh, just a second. This one, the third one. So I will put, you will have to put that on here in the path field. Then dot g o and dash. HK eight zero WD and then let's name it like a bypass. Okay, just add it. Then it's successfully added. You could see the notification. Now uh, just click on the bypass. You can see that we are the redirect. Okay, guys, so you will have to click on the root on this file. And then once it downloaded, so just click open file, install. And you will see this popped up. Install, install is blocked. And for security, you will have to go to into settings and then tick unknown sources and also allow this uh, for all the time so just untick that so install okay great get back now you will have to add one more link and this will be http then two dots and then Slashes V and ROM dot net bypass. Also, we can add uh, google.com because uh, you can also find many, many Google account managers on the, on the Google. So um, don't worry. Google account manager. So let's name it like this. But you can also name uh, it with different way. So you can see the bookmark gum is created successfully. Go to get to that and then scroll it down and then click on the gum. And uh, for guys, uh, you have the latest Android device uh, and it will require you to, if you have Android. 6.0 
one or newer device you will have to download this Google account manager so just wait a little bit it will take a little bit time so stay tuned and also um, <clears throat> as I mentioned before that uh, if you have also uh, Android 5.0 so you can click on that uh, gum 5 now proceed with the install okay of course I want to install that just click install okay so since it's installed so nothing should be done okay and um, <clears throat> and now you will have to click on once again on this part so that I will explain you okay I just click on that open the file install you can install because uh, this part should have been uh, done first so anyway you just open that and uh, you have to retype your password but uh, you don't know in fact you don't know what it is so just click on the bottom and browse sign in click OK and here you will have to add your own account which you know your password your login so just add your information and after guys you put all your information just make sure that you restored your device so click restore it, and then you restore that okay and after a few minutes you will be able to see that this device is doesn't locked anymore and it's not locked anymore so you will be able to use that without any problem so let's take a very fast look Okay, now we just head in. Well, it's already this information is inside the device. Okay, checking connection. checking software update and you can see clearly that the account has been added your first account is ready for use you can add and remove accounts later in settings so this is how you bypass google account on samsung galaxy phones and in this case this is samsung a3 so you just click next and just next skip skip and this is how we get into restoring information. Okay, let's Okay, now just head in. Okay, just later, next, and finish. And you can see that we already have a new. <laughs> this is nice, really nice. It's just finished. So this is how you bypass Google account. So thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video. And don't, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Yeah, take care.